Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry once again for the delay, uh, world's on fire a little bit as you all probably know and plus work got really crazy for me in the last couple weeks but now I'm officially on self-quarantine out here in good old USA and uh, just, just, <laughs> anyway, I don't even, it's, it's crazy. It's been crazy, it's been weird but luckily self-quarantine will let me potentially get videos out on time and more regularly so i apologize again for the wait uh but such is life and hopefully things will go a lot smoother <laughs> at least video wise for, uh, from this point on for a little while <laughs> but anyway i hope you all are well that's the number one important thing i hope you're all staying safe and uh being healthy and practicing good self-quarantine um, procedures if you are able to and if you're not I salute you to the people like the grocery store people um, like all of like gas station workers like all y'all are the real heroes so thank you so much for what you're doing and trying to help our society stay a little bit intact in this time of crisis but anyway um, the beginning of this video um, I do have the starting soon screen up, but don't worry, that's just because I'm saying hi to everybody real quick, and it'll get right back in to the normal stuff, and I, I say at the beginning, I'm like, yeah, I'm spoiling you, it's because I, I think this was my third stream of the day, I basically streamed for like eight hours this day, uh, kind of in like little bits and pieces, not little bits and pieces, but I think three different segments I had streamed, so that's what they're saying when, I, when I'm when i spoiling them, it's because I'm streaming so much that day. So anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video and it will start in a moment. I know, I am spoiling you. You're very welcome. I mean, I'm kind of excited, like, I know we're not like at the end, but I feel like we're like kind of we're like, we're getting to Korriban and stuff, and I'm, I'm excited, so I want, well, we're not there at Korriban yet, but I do want to get to Korriban, so we have to finish, like, our companion-y things, you know? Gotta get stuff done. Hello, Tobias, and Grammy, and Stonesmith, how's it going, everybody? I need to find, oh, Dustal's on Corybon. You said I had to do my my friend things before going to Corybon, though, right? Or before doing the Starforge thing. Casual mortal enemies, you know. All right, for, okay, I'm going to go talk to my friends, actually. I'm going to go talk to the ones that I haven't uh, been able to, that I don't really have their, like, Actual companion quests. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that. And get everybody's mission. It's too bad. I liked Manon. I kind of want to stay, but I don't think we've got anything else to do. I like the music. I could listen to this all the time. Put a little bit... Like, well, you don't even have to. Like, I was like, put a little bit of ocean waves, but they've already got the ocean waves in there for you. It's great. Yeah, this is the right way. The Sith, uh, I thought supposedly the Sith weren't supposed to walk around freely. Anymore. Oh, yeah. Here, actually. Um, from what? Let's try remove and then add. Okay. And then we use. <clears throat> Do I have my thing with repair? I think I think I have one thing with repair, maybe. Fortitude, reflex, immunity, mind affecting. Here, I'll just Put that belt on. Not that you can see it. Wisdom. Awareness. Awareness. Security. Yeah, I think we actually looked. That's right, we looked. Okay. Yes. We looked to see if I had any... I'm here. Repair modification thingies. Statement. 
Let's go. Affirmative. If you request. Yep, yep, I yep, yep, yep. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. You are already familiar with accessing my central control. <gasps> oh, I did it! Last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior so to So we're the going back master. further and further. Most unexpected. What happened? Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the senator, I was the property mm. of one the Chaba the Hut on the planet Slayer. That explains why you have assassination protocol. <laughs> that makes sense. So the Hut's build you? Answer. It does not appear mm. so. Or at least Chaba was not my first owner. He purchased me from somewhere else. But did he make the modifications? My memories tell me that for a time, Pochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 Oh my beta. goodness. These contracts made Bochaba very well. One year? What? He killed one person almost every single day. Uh, and so what happened to stop that? It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hot houses. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad thing to do. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry. Artistry? Upon my return, You're into the however. artistry of assassination? I did not know that. Um... How was he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents uh, of that sector were fishing pieces uh, of a Oh, I'm actually gonna... For weeks oh. Afterward. At oh. Any rate, I quickly shot I actually kind of gagged a little. Death. Oh, wait. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's Oh, I need to possession. control my stomach right now. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. Woo! Can you imagine that? Pieces of a hut? Oh my... Bleh. Bleh. In the extended universe in the Han Solo trilogy, the huts were usually very closed ranked. And, like, wouldn't they wouldn't tolerate other people killing a hut because they were supposed to be untouchable. And when huts killed each other, it had to be sort of under control. Like... There was like, I think there was like a sort of a dual system, sort of like a dueling type system, but not really. But like, they couldn't go around like murdering each other, like on the regular. But, yeah. A murder day keeps the doctor away? Woo! Uh, you would have preferred to stay in Slaheron? Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less. So More or I less. You would have been found out eventually. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end. He is so odd for a robot. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. Like, do they talk about in Star Wars much that, like... I don't feel like it's really a, a sort of a philosophical thing, whereas Star Trek does this a lot with, like, actual, like, sentience... And like self awareness gained by robots and and like not androids but like robots and stuff like that. Eat androids, kind of yeah, droids in general. Like, is it just a given fact that most droids have some sort of like I don't know, like they appreciate art and culture and stuff like that, which people will generally associate with like a more humanoid existence, a more organic existence. But yeah, see, they can develop personalities while they have their data and memory wiped, and then that seems, like, really terrible to, like, erase the personality of a creature that's, like, has, like, self-awareness and, like, consciousness. I don't know. I feel like Star Wars doesn't really address that, except they will wipe the memories of usually the R2 units that are, like, with, like, on the, like, ships, like, pilot, like piloting little fighters, and they wipe the memories of the fighters as well. But it seems a little bit cruel... Uh, do you remember anything else? Answer. Negative, Master. 
There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I believe I can restore oh, several yeah. programs whoop, whoop. I have installed to improve whoop, whoop. my performance. Yes. Yes. They are yes. now active. Contemplative. I wonder how many more dead masters I might have. <laughs> a droid can live for a long time. I feel like he's one of those cursed objects, you know, that like if you if you pick it up and like it comes under your possession, like a cursed sword or something, where it's like it has a history of all its owners or masters or whatever being killed. And I feel like my life, because I have HK in my life now, that my life is more at risk. <laughs> like, just just by natural entropy that seems to follow him around. Uh, oh, cool. Because if it repairs, HK will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every six seconds in addition to his other abilities. Nice. If I bring out Candorous and HK, we'll be unstoppable. They just have comic sidekick routines which kick in sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. The robots and stuff. I guess we can level them up. Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, hang on. Hmm? Actually, Rain, you wanted me to check and see. Hang on. Let's see. So, my stats. Uh, no, no, not you. Not you. Not you. Me. Stats. Stats. Okay. So, right now, I have a really high wisdom, charisma, and my intelligence is 13. So, and intelligence is the one that hmm. does my... I'm here. That does repair. Oh, wow. So, oh, it brings it up three points? Holy moly. Okay, Rain, you said it needed to be 17. So all I need to do is either put one more point into intelligence, uh, or or level up. Can I level up Night Valor anymore and get like an like a plus four or something? Cause that's a freaking lot. That's a freaking lot. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I have to be level seventeen. Uh, is this skills? Skills. A bonus plus six. My skill rank is fine. Where's the uh, repair? Total rank, oh, total rank 17. Oh, okay, so it wasn't just based in intelligence. It had, it was, uh, so I could, rep I could do it again, right? Quick, come here, come here. Statement. Affirm request. Let's get started. Statement, as you wish, master. And Woo! now be wired the last three Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. Oh, I have recovered yes! the last of my last memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. Why not? Answer. As I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still lost. Ah, within yes. My we need form. to go. That can only shove be them into a volcano or something. Appropriate stimuli, and I have no idea what that stimuli might be. Unfortunately, sadly, it seems my true origins will always be. A no, I just have to bring you out more to random planets. Maybe he was owned by a Sith. Whoa! If I go to Corbon, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get more info. Hello, Flyery. I'm. I can always count on Rain to answer you how it's supposed to be. Oh, Rain! By the way, I learned today that Rain in German means pure, like exactly how you spell it too. R e i n means pure. I thought it was like rain, like rain, rain, but it's not. It means pure. I have a little calendar that gives me German phrases every day. Since we mentioned our warrior rivalry the other day, where should our epic showdown take place? In the Bahamas. <laughs> or, uh, maybe, um, on top of a pagoda in Japan. Or on the moon. Or on Mars. Mars would be cool. 
Poor choice of words, German and pure. What? In German, rain means pure. Or it's actually rhyme. It's actually rhyme. But, like, it's spelt the same way. But it's it's said, because the I comes, it's an E-I, and when it's an E-I in German, it's, 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 you say it like I, but if it's an I-E, you say it like E. So technically it's rhyme. And I just realized that's why Reinhardt name, Reinhardt's name in Overwatch is Reinhardt, because that means pure heart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. And he is. He's a very noble, like, warrior, Reinhardt is. Roof, moon, Mars. Yep, yep, yep. Further away from the planet. You're right. Just boop, boop, boop. I am, I am an enlightened skewer. Ske squirrel. Bleh. Pure good. You're, it, de it, it doesn't have to necessarily be pure, like, yeah. It, it's not pure, like, purity. It's pure whatever. Whatever you want to be. Hmm, so tell me about this last order then. Correction. <gasps> would actually be my first owner. Master. Well, well. The first, I can It remember. is the first one. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space. Though I have no knowledge of what my target was or who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as... Booty. Booty. Like he repaired me, poorly, I might add, and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. That doesn't sound very Mandalorian of him. Uh, how far are we from collecting all the star maps? I don't know. We've got three. And now I have to go do a bunch of companion things. So we're like, yeah, halfway? Uh, is there no way to find out? Does nobody decent ever find you? Observation. Eep, whoop. You found me, whoop, Master. Whoop. Perhaps you are simply fortunate that my assassination protocol no longer functions. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. Oh. My poorest performance, sadly. Well, a Mandalorian... You, you have to do, like, hand... Like, it has to be, like... Like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? So if his owner wanted to be the next, like, Mandalorian leader... He couldn't... It would... Like, it wouldn't have worked to use a robot. Right? Isn't that how that goes? Oh, why is that? Answer. I was captured by this Mandalorian... Oh, wow! He was able to reverse my programming... And send me after my own master... It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest How could it be your darkest day if, like, you don't even remember what happened to you beforehand? You're just a traveling piece of bad luck, are you? Oh, wait, I, I want to say this. Uh, you couldn't kill Mandalore, hey? I want to say both of these. Just a traveling piece of bad luck, aren't you? Objection. <laughs> that is so unfair, Master. Have I not brought you a great deal of You're a hoot. Don't worry about it. You don't want to hear the answer to that. Statement. You are a very <laughs> harsh master, Master. I <laughs> Oh, man. This may have gone down a path I didn't anticipate. Hmm. So you... Oh, good, I can say it. So you can't kill Mandalore, huh? Statement. With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. Is he still alive? Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him. Uh, you killed that master directly. Statement. So I did. I am not very proud. I mean, of he that couldn't go master. against his programming. The soldiers seem very startled, I must say. Satisfaction sex, but no, we're not falling into the trap that that woman fell into. We're, we're turning our our robot friend into a sex bot. Uh, can you remember? Can you remember anything else? Answer. There are a few <gasps> Mandalorian yeah. implants whoop, whoop. that I can activate whoop, whoop. now. They will improve my performance. 
Beyond that master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. With luck, we will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Will not regenerate at a rate. Yay! Woo! And a plus two bonus to his dexterity. Yeah, this is why he's got the vitality regeneration thing, because he's Mandalorian. Oh yeah, we did it. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Wow, he is so, that background is so red. Like, the more he discovers his past, the brighter red it gets. Jeez. Ugh. I can't get no satisfaction. And I try, and I try, and I try. I'm, I was looking at the Overwatch thing, sorry. Skills. Oh. Uh, Excuse me. He's better than Candorous? Droid upgrade, class three. Okay, what does that do? Uh, skills, feats. As a droid gains experience, its programming becomes more adaptable to new situations, so allows it to accommodate more sophisticated upgrades. Droid upgrade class three allows a level of what? One, two, and three upgrades. Cool. Uh, so he's he's doing uh pretty darn well. Hello, Black Band Geek! Welcome! Welcome, friend. Yeah, yeah. Been on an assassination mission in Mandalorian space where he was damaged. What if we took him back to Mandalorian space? Maybe, I don't know where Mandalorian space is, but... Uh... What do you want? Equip... Oh! Oh, now we can use the class 3 stuff. So computer use or security. And is it base? Yeah, so okay. Okay. So we can have both. So now his security and computer use has gone up tremendously. Wait, do you do you use are you your blasters or rifle? Okay, rifle. All right, good. I mean, you could use a heavy weapon too, but we're good. It will progress with the main story. Oh, okay. Avengers has already made 1.2 billion worldwide. That does not surprise me. I still haven't seen it. It's fine. Uh, I have so many things that I don't even know what to do with them. With like the adrenal accelerator things and and that what I don't know what this is. What, what, things I have it in. I still have the Enviro suit. I still. I have a lot of things that I don't think I need. It's fine. Oh, what? Level up again? How do you... Wait, what? Skills. Sure. Okay. He's got a really good dexterity now. Perfect. We're doing. I'm here. Oh, I guess I could always just fast travel back to the Ebon Hawk. Wow. It's fine. I guess I'll do that. Return to Ebon Hawk. I don't have to walk there. Time to go chit chat. It's the best part of any Bioware game. Making the rounds. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, you? Tell me more about Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius. Really? Revan's the only one Revan who knew to be like, worlds of their you know, counterattacks? So others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. Oh. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. Okay, so, wait. Revan was literally the only person who could think, like, 
how to counter like the entire like republic there was no general capable of trying to like do anything besides throw their soldiers at the mandalorians what this is like origins so you should use every dialogue options to progress companion story well sure revan can be a genius strategist but apparently it went from just doing basic throw soldiers at each other to then only revan being able to do all this stuff like that doesn't make any sense uh, <laughs> you. What about the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our Didn't grasp. The Sith I still oh. remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. Only main characters have brains? Yes, and villains. Well, I guess mi villains can be main characters. Oh. Only people with, like, actual names can have brains. What happened in the battle? It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. What? His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, the, and the subtleties of his the, plans. The, the, the subtitles don't match. Still, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Interesting. Whoever the plot demands has brains, has brains. It's basically plot brains. The whole story's bigger. Basically, the public was weak when the Mandalorians invaded and Revan's Dia turned the tide. Didn't the Sith have something to do with it? Like, the Sith, like, goaded the Mandalorians into attacking the Republic? Or they were, like, allies or something? Uh, why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy That's would a scary have stopped thought. us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? No. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Crap. Uh, is this the kind of thing where I can, like, leave the ship and come back and they will, I will have more, I'll be able to talk to him again, or is it something where, like, I need to do, like, a quest of some sort? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. That's revealed later. Mandalore, the ultimate, was urged to war by the Sith. I thought they mentioned something about it earlier, that, like, there was something where, like, the Sith and the Mandalorians were, like, allied somehow. But it was, like, a sneaky... Alliance. Saw so, uh, a trailer for the game recently. Uh, they were pulling strings, pulling strings behind the scenes. Okay, where most of the NPC conversations seemed to be about how weird it was that they all seemed unable to fetch anything themselves. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's just like fourth wall breaking. Um. Can we? Negatory. Yeah, yeah. I believe that there are no further deletes. Right. Those are protected by my safeguards and would be uh, the only way those memories could be. Okay, so we're done talking to HK for now. Gizka, you're in the way, darling. Oh, and there's nobody in here. It's just an empty room. I think there's nobody in here. Alright, that seemed as good a place as any to cut it off. We still have a little bit of chatting to do with people, but as per usual, it takes a while because we've got a lot of good friends and a lot of conversations that apparently I sort of missed with some people at some point, but uh, you'll see in the next one. But um, yeah, so we catch up on all the conversations and whatnot and have a good time kind of just figuring out people's backstories and stuff, which I always really enjoy. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one.